Hello everyone, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. I'm in the village of Tomino, about 150 meters over the above the Mediterranean Sea in northern Corsica. And last night before I went to sleep, I reviewed a very interesting article that related to what are called short-chain fatty acids, I'll explain, and multiple sclerosis. Uh, some German researchers looked at what is the effect of dietary short-chain fatty acids or produced short-chain fatty acids in the experimental animal that is used for MS called uh, the rodent model uh, that gets a disease called EAE, experimental autoimmune encephalomyelitis. I'll make it simpler. And what they found was that when these animals produced higher levels of short-chain fatty acids or short-chain fatty acids were administered to the animals, it tended to calm down their immune systems, making things like MS and autoimmunity less likely to happen. Long-chain fatty acids, on the other hand, seem to exacerbate a hyperimmunity, overactive immune system, higher levels of inflammation. So I think the take-home message, if we can extrapolate to humans from the EAE animal model, is really simple. And that is that the more we can do to enhance the production of short-chain fatty acids, and they come from fermentation of prebiotic fiber by our gut bacteria, the better for immunity and the better for reducing inflammation. And again, this is an animal model, but it's an incredible uh, bit of research that I think lends further support to the notion that our food choices have a huge role to play in regulating the immune system. MS is a hyperimmune or exacerbation of an immune response type of disease. So I think it really speaks to looking for prebiotic foods and adding prebiotic fiber to your regimen. I hope this is helpful. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter.